Our stat 10, a building in Shenandoah has been condemned after part of the structure collapsed. Good evening, I'm Aaron Leedy. And I'm Ann Lurie. Now some in the community are concerned the collapse will interrupt a food bank that serves thousands of people a month. Fox 56's Taylor Whartonby is live with what happens next. Taylor. That's right, the food bank serves over 2,000 individuals a month, helping struggling families. For many years, the former J.W. Cooper High School has been a landmark within the Shenandoah community, also becoming a place for the Beverly Matson Memorial Food Bank. However, part of the building collapsed due to heavy rainfall and wind on Lehigh Street, leaving the community at a loss and devastated. Debris from the building can be seen on the ground from the northeast corner of the property. We received a phone call on Saturday advising us of building collapse and that the building was going to be condemned. Of course, my first question was, do we have power? Because without the power, I have 14 refrigerators and freezers in there, and any product that's in them would be tossed out. After the call, plans were in motion to do everything they could to save the building. Unfortunately, nobody was hurt, and most of it fell inside the building. But now we just met with uh, the borough, and uh, we're, ma we're working on plans with the uh, structural engineer, um, a local contractor, and some other people that are going to help us get the job done. There's a, a need here for supplemental food, although I do realize a lot of these folks probably depend on us for most of their food. And um, I, I really do enjoy seeing those folks that are truly in need get some relief from what we're able to offer them. In 2009, Kent Steinmetz bought the building. He says since 2012, the Beverly Madsen Memorial Food Bank has served over a million and a half pounds of food and goods for the community. I'm told the food bank operates with two distributions a month and requests for emergency food are still being made. This has been my passion for many years and I know my volunteers make me cry because they're like family to me. And all these clients here are family to us and we want to keep these doors open. So if anybody can help us out in any way to keep our doors open, we would love to hear suggestions. Although this is a setback, they are hoping to get back to normal very soon. Reporting live, I'm Taylor Whartonby with Fox 56 News, first at 10.